One of the famous stories about Rav Salman Mutsafi that I mentioned to you guys last night. He was a very famous Mekubal that uh, made open miracles. People witnessed them. People witnessed these miracles, thousands of people. And every so often he would do it to give Chizuk to people. And he was a Kodesh Kodeshim. Tamid Chacham, Mekubal, according to all opinions, Sephardic, Ashkenazi, it doesn't make a difference. His son today is one of the Gdolado, Rav Ben Tzio Musafi. Now, one time, one of the famous stories that was witnessed by countless people is uh, Rav Salmo Musafi, Allah wa Shalom, told many of his students, we're going to go pray at Kivret Tzadikim, at the grave sites of the Tzadikim in Tveria, Tiberias. We'll go pray there. So, a bunch of people showed up and they all went. When they got to Tveria, one of the little kids ran across the street and a truck ran over him. Crushed him. Shemishmo. Bodies laying there on the floor. Everyone is in shock. Ambulance shows up. There's still a little life, but the guy at the ambulance says, Kvodarab, we're sorry. You don't see it, but his insides are completely crushed. There's no way he's going to survive. Afsam Musafi says to the Keila, he says, okay, let's go to the kever of Rabbi, of Rabbi Meir Baraness. Let's go climb, go to this kever, pray over there, and then we'll go to the hospital, see the boy. Okay. Everyone's nervous. Everyone's crying. And they go to Rabbi Mibalanes. They pray over there. After they finish, they go to the hospital. Rabsam Musafi goes in by himself. He sees doctors tell him, Kodarab was sorry. Kid's not going to make it. It's too much damage. The little boy is not going to make it. So why don't you just Maybe you could say Shema Yisrael next to him. Maybe he could blur Babu a word or two before he dies, and that's it. Of some himself, he says, "It's not possible. It's not possible. His kid's gonna die. What? Right? No, Kodarab, he's crushed. It's finished. The truck, eighteen wheeler, ran over the skin. It's finished. It's nothing. It's not possible." It's not possible you're going to die. Why not, Kudav? So we prayed. We just prayed. We just went to Babimi Baraness. We prayed over them. We're doing a mitzvah. It's not possible you're going to die. I'm going to go inside. Okay. No one knows what's going on here. Just like you. Of someone who's happy. She's boy. Comes back outside. Tell the doctor, okay, I'm going to take him out. I'm going to take him with me. Kodav, if you unplug him from the wires, he's going to die instantly. Stop me, don't worry. So he goes inside, unplugs everything, comes back, the kid's walking, nothing happened to him. Not a scratch. See what? Everyone saw it. Nothing. Walks out. <whistles> Hundreds of people watching this. They have no idea what just happened. The doctors, how was about two seconds ago, we were inside, we saw the kid, crushed, finished. What happened? Said, Nothing happened. I told the Kadosh Baruch How could it be? We went to go do a mitzvah. We went to sanctify your name. How could it be that one of your children is going to get hurt doing a mitzvah? How could it be? And on top of it, we prayed. How could it be? Hashem said, I agree. Everything's fixed. Now, if this story wasn't witnessed and written in papers and things like that, people would have a very hard time believing it. 